It is the Turtle Dork back with a new reaction for you today. It feels so good to say that. <laughs> this is a film that I have been looking forward to uh, probably since last year for a while actually. It was one of my most anticipated movies of 2018 and for a little bit I was starting to think that this movie wasn't going to be released this year. Um, but uh, surprise, surprise, it's going to be released on Netflix on uh, October 12th. And um, as the recording of this video, I will be headed to Austin, Texas for Fantastic Fest. And fingers crossed, I'll be able to see it there. Uh, this is, yes, Gareth Evans' next film, Evans. I always get those two's, mi two's mixed up. Yeah, Evans. Next film, uh, Apostle. Uh, of course, he is the uh, renowned director of the film, uh, the films, The Raid and The Raid 2, uh, probably two of the most highly regarded action films, uh, probably of this modern era. They, those two films are just badass among, uh, just among belief. They're great. Go watch them if you haven't seen them. Um, so it's funny though, it's funny with uh, this particular project and um, how I've kind of been following this film. So when I heard that Gareth Evans was doing a film called Apostle and then I read a little bit about what um, it was going to be about, in my mind I kept thinking that, okay, this is going to be, uh, you know, his first American made movie, but it was still going to be in the vein of like something like The Raid where you're going to have, you know, them doing the martial arts fighting, uh, using the style of Salat. Um, but of course we knew that Dan Stevens was cast in this, so I was thinking, okay, so he's going to have Dan Stevens doing some martial arts fighting, and and that's, th that's my own fault for really kind of putting Gareth Evans in that box. But um, I never knew much about this film outside of just like maybe like a log line. But um, what I'm hearing is that this is probably more of kind of like a terror kind of a horror type of film and the more and more I'm starting to hear about this and as time has gone on from my initial reaction to hearing the announcement of this movie my, my thought on this film has changed quite a bit and as, as much as I wanted Gareth Evans to kind of continue doing stuff in the vein of the raid I am kind of glad that he is starting to kind of stretch his muscles, uh, his creative muscles and his filmmaking techniques. Um, now granted, I haven't seen the trailer yet. It could be exactly what I was expecting um, last year. But um, from what I'm hearing, I, I think this could be something uh, that, that's good for him and good for his career. But with that being said, I've been rambling uh, on a little too long. Let's go ahead and check out this first trailer for Apostle. I'm excited for this one. <laughs>
intense. Man, yeah, that is completely different from anything that I was expecting from Gareth Evans. But again, like I was saying before, I'm actually kind of glad that he is doing something a little bit different and something that can kind of separate himself from uh, the raid. Now, it does look like he still is going to bring in that intensity, that brutality that we saw in the raid, but kind of bring that into a different type of genre. Um, I like Dan Stevens a lot. Dan Stevens has been getting a lot of work within the last couple of years. And I think this is really just going to kind of add uh, to his filmography and to his career as far as some of the diverse roles that he's been taking and how diverse um, he is as an actor. Um, Martin Sheen, I think it's Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen? Oh, I have to look that up. I think it's Michael Sheen. Um, he's a great, great character actor. I mean, if you look at his IMDb and his filmography, the dude has played so many different uh, types of roles, and he's such a good actor. He looks menacing in this trailer. Um, I, I like the cinematography. I like the design of it. I like the look. It definitely feels like a horror film. Um, I mean, anything dealing with cults, um, especially setting it in a certain time period and that time period of like the early um the early 20th century i think this is like 1905 it takes place in having that setting um in the in the environment of a cult that's on like this secluded island and he has to go there to try to rescue uh, his sister and seeing kind of all of this kind of demonstrous and devious stuff that's going on in this island um it it definitely uh, that evokes something really, really horrific uh, from that. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest horror fan. I'm not the biggest gore fan either. But this movie definitely looks like it's going to bring that. And <clears throat> when it comes to that that particular aesthetic, um, I think that's something Gareth Evans really does shine at. So, uh, I mean, color me intrigued. I'm definitely, I'm definitely in for this. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, hopefully I get to see it at Fantastic Fest. Um, if not, October 12th is right around the corner. I'll be able to check it then. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks, at Mouth Dork, at The Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I am The Turtle Dork. And with that, I'm out.